Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are on Rivet Games' new Swiss route for TSW. This is the Bernina line. Um, 38 kilometers of winding narrow, narrow gauge Swiss mountain railway from Tirano, Italy to Ospizio Bernina will be one of the steepest railways in the world. Standard adhesion railway, I should say. Up to 7% grade, and we have got this new Allegra EMU. This is one of my, f this is not my first look at the train, I did have a bit of a go on it in the training center just to figure out my way around this thing. We're going to be doing a run with full safety systems. What you can hear in the background is actually the, is um, the auto announcer system, I can't turn that off even though it's incredibly annoying. All right, next up, Campo Colonia in 2.8 kilometers. Sorry, Tirana, see you later. I've heard that whistle from the TS Classic version, videos of the TS Classic version. Now the standard gauge tracks over here. Mountains look pretty good, have LiDAR data, all that good stuff, but there's an obvious limit as to where the trees stop. That's a bit annoying, but that's a limit of the game engine. Okay, we just went over this railway crossing. Overall, pretty decently modelled, up to rivet standards, I'd say. Got a changeable destination board, but it's already set to Oxbizio, as you can see. Um, yeah, We've, we do have to go down to 15 in a minute. We, I think, yeah, in midway between. Tirana and Campo Colonia will cross over the border into Switzerland and continue along it for the rest of the, rest of the way. However, there's something about this pack, two things about this pack, which I'm not too much of a fan of. Um, f firstly, there are no Bernina Express coaches or services represented in game. That's probably going to be a, a later gameplay pack. I know, sad. All right, so now we go on to the street running section. As you can see, here we go. So here's the Allegra. Three car electric, multiple unit. And these coaches, EW1 coaches, I'm pretty sure. These are recycled from the Arosa line, sadly. No Bernina Express coaches. There are some logging wagons. And if you want, there's, sadly, however, there. if you want to do some cl more classic um, running with the throttle brake, etc., and want to turn the cruise control off, sadly, right, um, RHB or Raishan Railways prevented Rivet from allowing them to turn the speed set off. So, there is a simple expedient. Just take it, put it all the way to 120 kilometers an hour, which is well above the speed limit for this, and yeah, you'd be okay. So, yeah, basically, we are now in Tram Sim World 4. Yeah, this is, we're now, we're now in Tram Simulator, officially. Running pretty good, around 42 frames, not too bad. Over here, you can see I've got the two DC panographs up. If you if you put this thing in free roam on the Arosa line, then you put both the DC panographs down, and you take this middle pan and you raise this middle pantograph here if you're on the Arosa line. Um, all right. So passenger lights, you've also got vigilance, you've got ZS Acknowledge, which is the safety system. This is how you turn it on. There's also there's your emergency brake down here, you've got the signal of contact, you've got whatever this is, I think a radio unit. This is also another this is an emergency plunger. The, those are not modeled. You've got your destination display, gauges. Oh, we can go up to 30. Nice. Um, then this screen doesn't work, that's just information. Yeah. 
does say we do have to get out to 25, so make sure I do that beforehand. Around the turn, across this little bridge here. Overall, the scenery detail for a rivet route is pretty good. Yeah, you can see we're already on a pretty darn steep, steep grade. Um, 6.7% already. Goes up to seven. Goes up to seven percent. Um, mo most of the time. Yeah. So I. This is the first route I've actually ever pre-ordered because I would have pre-ordered um Blackpool branches, but they didn't allow me to do. Uh, but Steam didn't want to, so I just bought it when it came out. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to put the beers out. Beers don't do anything, but it's nice to have that little functionality there. Um, timetable lights, instrument lighting, turn that to 100%. Also turn the cab light on. You can't see it, but it'll be nice while we're running in tunnels. So here's the route map. Tirano, Campo Colonio, Bruzio Spiral Viaduct. It's pretty cool. Bit of wiggling, keep going, and then a lot of wiggling. Up here, up here, up here. Oh, Gro Groom is down here, and then Ospizio Benina is up here. This is not the full route. The line goes off the map and off to St. Moritz somewhere up there. But, St. Moritz, but if we had the full route, it would take an hour and a half to do a full route run. Whoa, my FPS. 23? Are you joking? That is that the first low performance I've ever had in TSW? Yeah, I think it is. Um Yeah, this route is if you see like any low texture, low res textures, or yellow signal. Let me Okay, I don't know how Swiss safety systems work. I'm just acknowledging it every time it comes up. Um So, yeah, this whistle, I've, I've heard uh, from the TS, auto announcer going off there, that's it, it they're in Italian, German, and English. Come on, let me acknowledge it, okay. All right, ooh, very nicely done. Pipage under the tracks there, nicely done. There are some recycled assets from other routes like these here, but they're, okay, there's another Allegra. Um, hauling some more EW1 coaches. Shut the power off. That was a railway crossing. I'm running only 26 frames? Dude. This route is really hard on the old performance. Not even the Dieter Talbab was this bad. All right. Uh oh. Yep. Of course, my computer's changed my keyboard, so I can't put the brakes on. Come on. All right. Now I can put the brakes on. All right. Come on. Full service. All right. Pretty good stop there. We're we're on a four percent grade, dude. Yeah, you could tell. Really start slipping up. And there's a li there's a little oh there's oh look at this bridge. I like this bridge. Very unique. The track zigzags across it, and there are level crossing barriers both sides. Me likey. So I can't get up if the um, the vigilance system would really give me um, heck for it. So this is the interior. There are a there are some model passenger information screens. It's pretty good. Very nice. Uh oh, I can't get the camera. Right. Uh, come on. Okay, now the camera likes so wants to work. A little tram section go, uh, road section go up there. EW1 passenger coaches off the Eraser line, of course. Um, overall the station's very nicely modeled, like Campo Colonial. That is a custom asset if I ever saw one. Um, there is also. A window here, um, and a window here. One thing I find really unique about this unit is that there's only a door on one side of the cab. 
like this side no door this side door very interesting all right so all right T top tip when you when launching in this unit apply some power and then release the brakes otherwise it's highly likely you'll roll backward so look there we go look. we are just taking off dude we just took off. Oh! When I was watching Train Simulator Driver's, um, uh, review, um, li early, li early access live stream of this route does, yeah, that crossing bar- you saw that correctly. The crossing barriers, um, do seem to flicker, but at least, the, at least one of them seems to have been fixed. I'm running like 28 frames, dude? This map is, this route is insane on the performance. It's playable, but why am I only running 30 frames? Come on. All right. All right, we can go up to 45 in a minute. Wow. Okay. See this little, um, this little number up here saying 2.6 kilometers? That's 2.6 kilometers in a straight line. So as the crow flies, it doesn't take take into account all these wiggles or the spiral viaduct. Okay, we're still running a mere 31 frames per second. 30. Oh gosh. My computer does not. My computer is jugging right now. Like a lot of people, like um, the train guy four were actually complaining about um about how this route didn't look that realistic. If this route had looked realistic, only people running like 4090s could have run this route. This is ridiculous. I'm on, like, uh, I'm on a 1650 and not running like ultra settings and that, and the fact that I'm running, not even running 40 frames most of the time is insane, dude. Overall, though, the route does look really nice. Look at that! Li look at that lidar terrain. The trees look weird, I know, because they don't have shadows. But that's just a TSW engine issue. That ne dovetail needs to fix that. I don't think Rivet Rivet certainly can't do anything about that. Look at this kibble bridge! Oh, nice! All right. You, if you have the, yeah. Um, if you have the, what is it, AB4 slash 4, uh, uh, can't remember, the locomotive, I'm running only 28 frames right now, um, uh, on, if you try to run it on this line, it won't work, because out of the Bernina line is the only part of the Swiss network, um, that is electrified on a thousand volts DC. The electra, uh, the rest is on 1.5 kilovolts. I'm pretty sure. So it's really yeah. So the electra can run both on the Bernina line and the Arosa line, but the uh, four slash four can only run on this line. And I must say, this is streets better than the Arosa line. It looks so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's it's actually genuinely beautiful. Like, oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Yeah. Whoa, dude. 24 frames. Um, I, old TSW3 style catenary. I have not seen that in a while on a new route. Because it's all... Alright. One kilometer to Bruzio, but we're coming up on the spiral viaduct, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty much... This is like something out of a model railway, but in real life. It's actually pretty cool. Um, let's put it down to 30. We have, do have to slow down. So let, let's actually go in external cam. Let's go in external cam up here through one of these. And let's go up here because then we can see the whole thing. Um, yeah. Ooh, that is a good view, dude. L me likey. So we should see the train. Oh, there it is. So it comes in between one of the legs of the viaduct. That is so cool, dude. And then this is a this is a real life railway. This is this is in real life. It's actually so cool. All right. So comes around. 
you're wondering what service this is, it's R1652 Toronto to Auspizio Benina. Auspizio? Yeah, Auspizio. If there is basically like, yeah, look, it's basically, um, yeah, there's not a lot of surface variation on this route, but that's per the real timetable. You've got just, you've got, um, you've got services in between Toronto and Spezia Benina uh, completely all the way. No, like, Services that stop midway between, and you've got depot run, you've got short depot runs, but that is totally it. There are 49 playable services on this route. Let's get hop back in the cab. Oh gosh, I don't understand Swiss safety systems. Come on. Okay, that, that okay, running 37 frames. That's a bit better, but I had no idea this route would be so hard on my computer performance this is insane um okay we've got 400 meters to go looks like we're running on time for once runs that i do never seem to run on time this is my first rivet games route that i've bought with my own money um i haven't gotten any anything for free for dovetail games this is all on my using my own cash I must say the Allegra, such a good looking unit, like dang, it looks so gorgeous. Okay. Alright, it's running about 32 frames. We are coming into Brusia. And I'm totally massacring now with my western accent, but alright, let's cut the power. Start slowing down here. All right, break braking is actually working. It takes a bit longer to stop than you might expect. Um, come on, Bruzio. Full service onto the brakes. Neat stop, Bruzio, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently there are quite a few paths that you can walk along on this route, like that church down there, you can walk down to it. I also like this little transformer station here, sort of like, um, where you put the power into the system. This route, oh, this railway opened in 1902, 1902, and it's still, and it's still the steepest standard adhesion railway on the planet, which is pretty impressive. Let's have a look around Bruzio. Oh, look at this. It's a Bialetti. Oh, that is so nice. Coffee and cake. Beautiful. Like the church. Even some, a nice representation of stained glass windows. We've got a bit of a path here. Can I follow it? No. Um... Here the, oh gosh, I seem to have hit something. Oh yeah, it was a pole. This little river here is such so nice. Okay, this this is this is by far the best Rivet Games route ever made. It's certainly it, it streets ahead of the Arosa line. It sh shows that they're actually learning from their previous routes. Like the Arosa line, you could tell they were inexperienced, even though they've made um, routes before. So, okay, tells me a lot of, that's actually quite a, a lot of information, that's pretty cool. By the way, um, the pantographs, the DC pantographs, you can see there are two up right now, one here, one here. What, only one of them is supposed to be up at a time, and then another one comes up if the train needs more power. So if you see it running two pentagrass, you can tell it needs some power, more power than it would otherwise get. Unfortunately, it's double pentagrass up all the time, which is a tad unrealistic, sadly, uh, and a bit sad that I that there aren't that the automatic pentagraph up down malarkey hasn't been can't get through. Let me thunk. I'm hitting an invisible wall. That's annoying. Uh, custom rendition of a level crossing here. Oh my word. Yeah, I've seen this on Nafverka Dresden. Look at that. That's... That, oh dear. 
And that is NG. All right, release the brakes. Layer in some juice. Leaving three seconds early. Next stop, Miralago. In 2.5 kilometers as the crow flies. I wish it was as the train flies, but wait, a train doesn't fly. This is also streets ahead of the Rivet, Rivet's Train Sim Classic um, rendition of this route, which is from like, what, 2011, I'm pretty sure? It looks so much. It looks really, really good. I'll, I think I'll do another video tomorrow where I actually... Um, oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! I just clicked the battery off button and everything died! Come on, battery on. Oh, Whew, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I did just screw that up there. I, that improves that spot at least. Um, running 27 frames, and I think you can see it. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Um, right, can't, I can't really see this. When I when God mode is updated to is updated to be compatible with this route, I'll be so glad because you can barely read that even at maximum zoom right now. Alright. Continuing to climb at a very steep 7% grade. Like, look at that. That's basically looking straight, straight down. Look how high we're climbing. Look how steep this is. So cool. Of a crane over there. That looks like a custom model. I haven't seen that before. Custom asset of a church up there. Rivet's done a really nice job on this route, dude. And personally, I'm glad they did. Oh, I didn't realize we could speed up there. Okay, and then we could go up to 40. Oh, wow. Amazing. So, it's, the route basically goes up on a 7% grade all the way. And there's like a lake over here, which isn't on the map. And after here, we really start climbing, like incredibly. We start climbing incredibly. By the time we get to Hotspizio Benina, we're going to be 2.2 kilometers above sea level. For reference, whoa, lag Toronto is only 700 meters above sea level. So, we are going to climb today. Like, incredibly climb. Is there a little road going under here? Yeah, there is. Alright, so we get to go up to 40. Looks like... Now. I've been waiting this route, waiting for this route for a while because, as when I heard Rivet Games were going to be doing this line, I'm going to be like, "Oh, Rivet are going to go." I did have a bit of a mentality where I was like, "Whoa, lag, big lag!" Oh my goodness. Um, like Rivet was going to to totally ruin it, but to give Rivet credit, a no, amazing. This is almost as good as their Island Line 2022 route, which is pretty high praise considering how good that route is, is actually. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm so glad that they didn't deliberately didn't upgrade the snow and the water textures to TSW4 standards and also the catenary because otherwise I think my computer would genuinely explode because this is absolute. this is it, because I am running 34 frames on if I was say running on the East Coast mainline I'd be running about 60 right now and I can tell my computer is jugging to get and also the Allegra electric multiple unit is pretty cool whoa okay like 24 frames um is actually pretty cool in that it it's incredibly powerful it's like one of the has one of the biggest power to weight ratios of any 
do it do, do train fans say power to weight ratios um of Mira Lago coming up. There's a nice detail in the river. I think Mira Lago is actually next to the lake. Lago being. A... Yeah, I think I see it. We're crossing over the river. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Forgot to slow down. That'll be some points off. Ah! I don't like. Okay. Please take care when leaving the train. All right, more street running. Sound the whistle. The reason Swiss trains have whistles, there's Maralago on the right there. Good looking lake. Um, the reason, um, what's it? Um, uh, the reason Swiss trains like this one have whistles rather than, um, rather than horns is because of the and I'm not even joking is that they could cause avalanches if they blow their horns too much if they blow their horn that could call literally cause an avalanche all right full service stand on the brakes Miralago oh look at that another custom asset I'm actually seriously impressed by this rivet have actually done a superb job and there's only one other route which I could say that about, it, 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 which I have done, which is the Island Line 2022. Now, something I'm not so much of a fan of is that, look, that is direct. There's no, like, little wavelets or anything like that. It's just a direct contrast between water and soil. That is not... Uh, I think they did it in the name of performance, but that is... Uh, this sort of thing. That is... Pretty terrible. But is the vigilance gonna go off? Okay, let's go. Let's go walk around, shall we? We do have a bit of time. All right, so here we go. Miralago. The driver would certainly not be allowed to do this. Out of the way, chaps. Ooh, nice purple accents on that building. That's pretty cool. Yeah, nothing much here. It's just a building and a platform. Excuse no, I can't even get through. Okay, do there's so here's the inside of the EW1 coaches. Can you tell it's a bit of an older texture? Wait a minute. You can tell it's a bit of an older texture than the uh, than the whatever this is, this thing here. Yeah. Um. Let's get in the front here. Show you the interior of this thing. Um, very nicely done interior, route maps, all that good stuff. There are passenger information screens. Oh yeah, like this one here. Okay, you do have to go though, so... Come on, door, let me through. Alright. Alright, shut that door. Shut that door, sit down. Lock doors, release the brakes. And give it beads. Next stop, Poschiavo in 6.7 kilometers. That is a good looking lake. This route really captures the aesthetic of. So here it is, Poschiavo. So now we're heading along at like, um, pretty, pretty, um, low grades, stuff like that. Um, um, but after Poschiavo. I remember from watching a video on the TS Classic version of this, it's going to be, it's going to get quite a lot steeper, quite a lot wigglier. Poshiavo is basically the jumping off point, basically. Oh. Let's get a photo of that. Why not? Okay. Oh no. There's a stone wall. Ah. Wait a minute, can I? Uh. The wall. That's certainly not going to work. That could work. Nah, I don't like doing photo angles like that. Let's wait till we're like up somewhere with a good view, maybe. Having 45 right now. This actually feels fast. Um. 
In Kürze treffen wir in Poschiavo, dem Hauptort des Tals, ein. Drei Türme. Now we're heading. What? Down? We're on a downhill grade? That feels weird. Oh, this is this is so, so nice. So much better than Rivet's other two Swiss root abominations, i.e. the Erosa line and S-Bahn Vorarlberg. I'm actually seriously impressed by this. Rivet, if you could do as a much of an improvement over the Erosa line as this, how much better is your next Swiss route going to be? I can tell um, Rivet you're, le you're learning from your prior mistakes, and that is a good thing. Every, what DTG should be doing, honestly. You're still not a great developer, but now you're t you're now a medium a medium good developer. Medium, I almost said medium rare developer. Ha ha. Um. All right. Slow down a bit. We do have a. Th Let's put it to forty. Knowledge ZS. Don't even know what ZS stands for. I like how the train reacts so quickly to your new speed set things. It's actually so nice to to have a there's the road up there to have a speed set which the train actually tries to accelerate and brake for. It's really nice. Can't believe this this railway is still a, is in real life absolutely amazing, but I'm st Thing, the Swiss managed to build this back in 1902 still manages to blow my mind. I, I just wish there were more narrow gauge routes in TSW. All we've got is this and the Arosa line. Every other route is standard gauge. It's, yeah. Yeah. I like how the clouds are actually interfacing. Well, I say that, I, for want of a better term, with the mountains, not just like they keep getting pushed up and up, sort of thing. All right, so what? what is this station? I, so this is Le Presse. So I think other services on this line actually stop here. I think we're a semi-express service. If you have the RHB anniversary collection for the Arosa line, then there are makeshift Bernina Express services you can do. I don't have that because I'm so th because I don't have the Erosa line or the RHB anniversary collection. So yeah. All right, here we go. I think another street section is upcoming. Rivet have done the trackside details quite nicely, actually. And the reason, it, if you're wondering why the towns look so empty, it's because you can't, it is because there aren't any, if there were a lot, apparently, if there were a lot of people around, then there were, um, then there would actually be performance issues. Like, there are a few people sitting at that cafe, but otherwise, there's no pedestrians, and that, that, I know that. A TS, uh, that's a TSW as a whole thing, but that's still a bit sad. Makes towns look a bit empty. Nice church, though. That is by far a custom asset. So weird. It's like we're a tram, but yet we're not a tram because we're using... Because this is a standard train rather than a tram. It's very weird. Do get to go up to sixty though in a minute. Um, all right, we are now coming out of the town. I haven't seen those concrete mixers before. Those are new assets. Noise. Um, green signal ahead. Um, nice. All right, so now we can go up to sixty. Come on, let us accelerate. Oh, we've got a little yard up here. 
beans. Look how fast we accelerated there. That was no time at all. Okay, but then we almost immediately have to go down to 40. Come on! There's a nice little river on our right. Alright. Let's see if we can get a photo here. Because this is, I can tell this is going to be a route that's going to be absolutely... I can't move. Uh... Thunk. Uh... Alright. Let's go. Uh, I can't get through. There's... Oh, there we go. Alright, so now if I go to my... In front of my there we go. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Oh, nice. That is a good photograph. Just have to line it up a bit more. There we go. Get rid of the HUD. Nice. I think we're going slower than the cars. Come on! Let us go faster. This is good. This is a great route for photo mode already, I can tell. Ooh, we could go up to 50. Then we have to go down to 45 and then up to 60, down to 30. This, this route speed limits are so confusing. We have to go up to 45, then almost immediately go up to 60, then go down to 30, then go back up to 55, da, 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 that doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, we do have a bit of a level crossing coming up. That's this little bridge here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, slow down. Ooh, that was, that was close. <laughs> that was very close. Okay. This, yeah, you can, you can tell. There's a draw distance on the trees, and then the hills just look bare. Wish that didn't happen, but that is... Right, back up to 60. Normally, 60 kilometers an hour would be considered slow, but on this line, it's fast. Like, this has much stricter speed limits than even the Niedertal bond, and certainly... Yeah, it's... Do have a station coming up? What's this one? It's Likert, Likert, Liquor, Likert, um, so, something like that. Sound the whistle. Like how the level crossings are their own custom asset, and not just copy paste it over from something else. All right, let's go down to thirty. Oh, yeah, more street running. More street running. It is now tram sim mode 4 once again. This is... Oh, this is weird, dude. We're running, we're, it's like a tram on an incredibly narrow lane. Look at this. Only the Swiss. Like, dude. This is insane. Alright, just... Another 1.3 kilometers to Poshiavo. We've actually, look, we've actually covered a large portion of the route already, but after Poshiavo, that's where it really begins to get tough climbing, lower speed limits, all that good stuff. And we could go back up to 60. I, I initially wasn't too excited about this route, but when I learned the Allegra had a speed set, that was. That made me happy because speed set is so nice. You can just put the throttle to the max and just leave it there and not have to worry. Yellow signal. Shut up! Um, yeah. Um, 750. Quiet! I also like how the Swiss. Shut up! R um, run their electric multiple units with coaches and freight attached behind them, like this unit on the left here and also like my unit because that is just so cool like all right i like how it's done in three languages all right let's cut the power a bit here cut the power allow the grade well that was a five percenter 
to cut some of our speed back. Let's do full service. Oh, whoa. Yeah, full service. We're going to overshoot the stop a bit. Oh, no. No, no. Break. All right. Good boy. Finally came to a stop. I'm pretty good. Okay. Just a tad beyond the platform, but no one noticed it. Oh, there's a bit of a cargo terminal here. Nice. There's a bit of a shed over here. Yeah, this this has very last outpost before venturing into the unknown sort of feel to it. And then we have we have a 35 speed limit just after coming out of Poskiaf also. I'm going to set preset that on the speed set. Alright, so we have a two minute wait, dude. So let's get out. Bing! Let's actually shut this door because then we'll come back off the platform. Let's have a look around Poschiavo. Nicely done cargo ter- oh, pizza. Nom. Uh, nicely done cargo terminal. I also like how this buffer is very obviously a custom asset. Very cool. Suitcased NPC. Blanks on the windows. I wish they would have the interior here modeled. Request stop function. Non-existent, as usual. Uh, um, that clock, I've seen that before somewhere on German route, probably. Alright, nom. This is by far a custom asset, if a bit of a low poly one. Um, close call delivery. No, we don't want you. Um, alright, we have a. Oh, this is a long platform. Oh, route map. Boosh. So, yeah, we've come up for Toronto. Campo Colonio, Campasquiano, Bruzio, Miralaga, La Presa, Likert, Postiavo, Cadera, Cavalia, Alpgrum, and Ospicio Benita. And I probably just massacred the pronunciations of all of those. Get out, thunk, thunk. Get out of the way, NPCs. I've got a train to catch, and this train is driven by me, so you better be afraid. I can tell you for certain Rivet games will make a. Um, Bernina Express like um, gameplay pack for this um, for this trip for this route, but that's the only complaint I have. Um, shut the doors, release the brakes to minimum. Shut the brakes off. Give it full power. All right, coming out of Poschiavo, last outpost of civilization, sort of feel. Toronto was the last outpost of civilization, more like. Alright. Look how much... Yeah, we're down another 7 percenter. Goodness. Alright. So, we do have a bit of dual trackage for a bit, and then it's just single trackage, and then we really start wiggling around. So, we've got Cavaglia. It says it's 4 kilometers away, but that's... That's more like 15 with the wriggles that this thing is going to have. Yeah, I just... Yeah, did my gradient monitor just say 7.2%? Oh my goodness, that is... That is insane, dude. Like, wow. Oh, look at the view behind. If you're wondering about that fog in the distance, that's because of TSW draw distance. I've I've only ever seen that before on Cobb Pass. I'm going to leave this thing at full power because we are on a 7% grade, and that is very insane. If you, I'm not going to comment on the accuracy of the sound, seeing as I've never been on one of these myself, I've never seen a video of them, but if you could tell me how accurate the sounds are, please leave a comment down below, and I'll shout you out in the next video. Um, yeah. Alright, I like how the catenary is ve also very obviously custom. Look at that. Gor this is really gorgeous, honestly. Alright, we do have a 30 limit coming up. Alright, and now onto the single track hairpin section. Oh, um, does anyone is there anyone who ahead of us who's coming in the opposite direction? No. Okay. Whoa, look at that view, dude! That is... That is... Amazing. Oh my god. 
goodness, dude. Alright, let's try to get a photograph from here. I'm going to try to take as many photos as possible today. Oh, I've hit another invisible wall. Alright, so if I go up here, and then... Oh, wait, wait for the train to go a bit farther along. Pause the game. Go to photo mode. Yeah, I'm now the other side of the invisible wall. Nice. Ooh, nice. Ooh, ooh, nice photo, dude. Might be route thumbnail, but let's see if we can't get better views farther up the line. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I'm getting vertigo. That is a long way down to the village. Oh my goodness. What is this little line here? There's a little, oh, there's a little, there's, there's a little construction, there's a little construction, um, site. Nice. Um, nice little bridge coming up, too. Oh, gosh, we've got 25 living coming up. Wow. Oh, look how far down that is. Oh, my goodness. So if we go alongside the train and look, oh, ho, 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 that is a long way down. No guardrail. Ouch. Um. Hey, we're in 30, 35 section. Okay. Cavaglia is a long way away. Oh my, oh my goodness. That, oh my, oh, that's a long way down. Oh, I'm getting vertigo. This is insane. I've never had. Awesome. I. It, this is absolutely bonkers. Got a small bridge. Oh, look at the trackside detail. So nice. As to whether I recommend this route, I do totally recommend the route, but I think it's still a bit expensive for the price at 30, uh, 40 US dollars, 30 UK pounds, 35 euros. Wait for a steam, wait for a sale, and then get this route. I highly recommend it. And it, that's the first rivet route which I could say that about. All right, we're still inching our way up this 7% grade. We have 20 minutes to get to Cavaglia, even though it's 2.3 kilometers in a straight line. Another issue I've noticed is that, just noticed, is there are no wires attached to that pylon. That is a... Nope, we've got a tunnel. Good thing I put the cab light on. Oh, hello. Speed limit increased. Oh, speed limit decrease again. We're at 25. Wait a minute. I want to go to photo mode. This looks like another good opportunity. Oh, that is a long way down. Look at this tiny little tunnel here. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, and then a nice bridge. Nice. I love bridges. Oh my goodness. That is a long way down on both sides of the track. Oh. Oh. Bernina line, pretty nice route, even in TSW. All right, we do get to get to go up to thirty. All right, are we going round a? Yeah, we're going round a hairpin here. All right, gauge brightness. Where are you? Instrument lighting. Turn you to twenty percent approximately. That's good. All right. Oh, the cab light wasn't on. Okay, now it's on. Good. Whoa, look at this bridge, dude. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's pause the game. I need another photograph of this. Oh, my work. I actually need it farther along the bridge and there. Let's see if that worked. I really hope it did. Oh my good! Oh, you can't really see how far down it is. It's just trees in the way. 
Shame. Oh well. Take another photograph of that. Oh my goodness. Whoa, the mountains! So big, dude. Train seat the uh, speedo seems undecided about whether I'm going 29 or 30. 28 frames per second. Oh my goodness. We're actually going away from Cavaglia. Yeah, we we yeah we are. We're going away from Cavaglia, but because we're having to wind up this incredible mountain. Take in the view, dude. People in the coaches are actually getting the best view of this. Well, me, I'm stuck in the cab, and there's not. There's just these two windows here. There's not much opportunity for sightseeing at the moment. Nice little bridge here. Two and a half kilometers away. We still got two hair, three hairpin beds to get. That was just the first of four. What? There's a road here? Of a crossing? I'm seeing if there another fo- oh, trees. Never mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. More trees. And more trees. <laughs> no, trees keep blocking the view. Stop it. Alright, into the next tunnel. Whoa. This is a tight tunnel, like we're almost hitting the tunnel sides, like look at- oh my goodness. Shut up. Um, I know there's a yellow signal ahead of me, stop barking. Shut up! Ah, oh, I hate Swiss safety systems already and this is the first time I've ever used them. Double yellow, I don't even know what that means in Swiss. Or rather German. <laughs> Language joke if anyone didn't get get that. Alright. Alright, so now if I stop stop and get out a ye oldy photo mode. Oh I might uh, Why are there so many invisible walls where I can't get the camera through? Like I'm hitting so many. It's not even funny anymore. Yeah, there seems to be an invisible wall that follows the track, and I can't get over the track without hitting the invisible wall. Oh my goodness, look at my frames though. They are so bad. Whoa, view, dude, the view. Oh my goodness. Maybe this bridge will actually be better for a screenshot, who knows. Got, I actually got a little village up here. Um, all right. Okay. Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh. That's actually a good one for getting the whole train in. Oh, without getting plants in the way, I mean. Um, ooh, that, 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 that turned out better than I thought it would. All right, so if I just line that up. Another screenshot. Oh man, this, so, this route is so nice for getting screenshots. It's like, 
Oh, we've got is that a little station? We've got a little yard up here. Or at least no, we've got a crossing loop is what we've got, not even a yard. Oh my goodness. We've got a little pass uh, request stop. Let's take it over. In um the Arosa line, the request stop feature was basically was basically non-existent. It was basically these stations are added to your timetable and the guard does and the request stop feature doesn't even work properly. At least you could open the panels and ask the train to stop on the Arosa line. Even though it would stop there anyway. But on this one, the panels aren't even modeled. Look at us go up this mountain. There is a rather noticeable loop on the whistle, but let it pass. Okay, we do have another, yeah, another hairpin, and then another hairpin, and then about two kilometers to Cavaglia. Oh my goodness. This is, I think this is the most wriggly, yeah it is, it's this, yes, one of the two wriggliest parts on the route. And Spezio Benino, which is our destination, uh, ultimate destination, is basically the top of the pass. Yeah. Do get out to 45 for a short period. Nice. No sound mixing if I open the window. Interesting. All right, we do get up to 45 from here. That's nice. Come on. Oh, do we actually live alone? Yeah, we do. So the. Short section of 45 running. And now we're back on the 7% grade. <laughs> My goodness. Have to get down to thirty, so Whoa view We can't even see the bottom of the valley because TSW doesn't render that far. That is insane, dude. Just shows up how much we're climbing. And we are climbing a lot right now. No wonder my computer's fried. I'm only running still we're only running thirty frames. Imagine doing this in a in real life in a Berni in the one of the Bernina Express first class coaches. Like I've I've watched many YouTube videos of the Bernina Express of like people reviewing the Bernina Express and they are always so amazed at like how amazing how amazing it is. How much time do we have left? So it's 1.55, we got to ha we have to get to Ospizio Benina by 2.27. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Into the tunnel. Good views. Wow. I 
I'm staggered by how gorgeous this route is. Mind you, it's not like up to Nieder Tallbahn standards, but if you try to make a route like this to Nieder Tallbahn standards, everyone with Xbox One consoles or potato PCs would have would see the every would see them blow up. Y yeah, this is it's good enough. It's basically a compromise. The scenery is good, but it's not fantastic. And but it's not so CPU intensive that everyone's computers will blow up. You do get up to thirty-five now. Nice. Is there anyone wanting to? Maybe at Cavaglia wanting to pass us? Nope. There. Oh, there is someone coming into Cavaglia though. They'll be waiting. For, they'll have to wait for us. Hopefully we're running on time, I don't know. But hopefully the speed set will keep us on track. If anyone, if you just didn't get my joke, then I feel sorry for you. <clears throat> Look at the views, dude. Like LiDAR makes this so much better. Trouble is, whenever there's like a really good view out of a side, there always tends to be like a massive wall to the other. That is so gorgeous though. Like, oh wow. I'm so glad I purchased this route, honestly. Okay, and stop, we need another photo. Like, I, 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 I this is the most I've ever used photo. This is the most I've ever used photo mode. Mm. Why is there an invisible wall here? Like, come on, that's ruining my frames, framing, and frames per second. Oh, come on. So if I go down all this way, ooh, oh, 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 ho, 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 ho. so if I just frame that correctly, like that. Oh yeah, one hundred percent my thumbnail. Um. path here. Apparently you can walk between some of the station stops on these like little paths like the one to the to my on the camera's right at the moment. Like look at that fog. That's basically TSW saying I can't render that because it's too far away and it's basically taking up the whole valley. That's how massive this route is. We ne nearly didn't make that new speed limit. Oh, goodness. But on a happier note, we're only a kilometer away from Cavaglia. Cavaglia? Cavaglia. I'm just going to call it Cavaglia. Hate me. You can hate me in the comments if you want to. Alright, we've got another tunnel coming up. Oh yeah, there's a person. There's a train waiting for us at Cavaglia, and into another tunnel. Oh, and snow protection. Oh, well, there's a tiny little road here. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a railway crossing. Where is it? Oh, the path hugs the stone wall. Oh my goodness. I thought there was a tunnel like here for a second. That that really confused me. Oh, in a little in, in a little cutting here. Oh, and then we actually what? We're going downhill now? No oh, wait, is this level up leveling off or are we heading downhill? No, we're still going up. This all right. Prossima fermata, Cavagila. Next stop, Cavalia. 
Cav is it Cavaglia or Cavalia? The each of the announcements was a different. Oh whoa! I'll just keep calling it Cavaglia. Oh my goodness, this is like a couple of houses, and there's an entire trade. There's like ten houses tops, so and there's an entire trade station for it. All right, this guy can now leave. He's been waiting for us. Thank you. Alright, coming into Cavalia four three minutes ahead of schedule. Now that the Swiss are notoriously punctual, like the Japanese, for their timetabling, so I consider that a massive W in my books. Alright, slow down. Full service and stop. Whoa, it's the middle of summer and there's snow up on that mountain. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we'll be here for a bit. We are here for another three and a half minutes. So I'm just going to shut you. Chunk. I don't know what you think you're doing. You just missed the train down to Toronto and now you're not getting on my train to St. Moritz. What are you doing? There's a car up here? Wow. Okay. There's a, oh, there's a bar here. Nice. Oh, and there's a little... Oh, there's a place where you can drink beer. Nice. Okay, so we have three more minutes here. See if there... Is there anything else in this area I can collect? Oh, wow. Look at this building. Very Swiss. Alright. Oh, there's a nice custom ticket machine here. Oh, there's a Swiss hat. Oh, there's a Bernina, rather sus-looking Bernina Express poster with the wrong coaches on the poster. Um, <clears throat> we're not talking about that. Uh, just blank. Okay. Pizza? No. I've already got eight of them. Route map? Place? So you just got Alpgrum and Ospizio, Ospizio left to go. Another Bernina Express poster there. Taking the opportunity to get as many collectibles as I can before, um, before we have to go. Still waiting for the. Um, I think the only t, the only two TSW stuff the things I'm waiting for now is Union Workshops, hopefully narrow gauge. Japanese route and the formation editor. Like the formation editor will be a very nice function to have. But that's not coming until later this winter. Honestly, I'd like to do a passenger run. Um, shut the door. Passenger run. Come on, let me sit. No. Oh, look at that. That is a really nice looking route map. So I think, yeah, we are here on the map. This is Tirano. We're wriggling all the way up here. Wow. So we're at the bottom right corner of Switzerland. Nice. Does this open the... Oh, this is a request stop button. Oh, and it actually... It lights up, at least. Okay. Didn't know that. Um... Oh, more invisible barriers. Like, come on. That's the best... Yeah, there's, like... Tops. Oh, oh, oh there's a tree growing out of this house. <clears throat> um... Yeah. Sus asset placing on Rivet's part there. Um, yeah, this is so nice looking. Like, oh, there's some NPCs next to this car down here. That's I don't think that's something I've seen on any other route. All right, thirty seconds till we have to go. Shut the doors. Speed limit is thirty-five coming out of Cavaglia. Um. All right, let's go. Leaving a tad early, but... We're not even at cloud level yet. That's impressive. All right. So, next stop, Alpgrim. Whoa, it's all the way up there. We have to go up that hill. Yeah, so there's one, two, 
three, four hairpins before we get out. Oh my goodness, that is, that is mind blowing, dude. Well, we could go up to 40, but then back down to 30. Forty, hopefully. In wenigen Minuten erreichen wir den einzigartigen Aussichtspunkt Alpgrün auf 2091 Meter. Oh, mit Sicht auf oh, den Ooh, rock catchers top right of the window. Ooh, and now we're entering a snow tunnel. Oh. Okay, we do have to slow down here. <clears throat> I almost didn't notice that. Right. Did you notice how the train brakes are actually too over enthusiastic and we actually slowed down to 27 before rebounding? Ooh, we've got a little bridge. So, okay, apparently, at Altgum, uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of time where we can explore. Oh, dude, oh, dude, this, yep, 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 come on. Let me further back along the river. Nope, it's not letting me. Ah. All right, so if I go further down the river, please let me go a long way so I can take a good screen. Is that far enough? Nope. Not by any means. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 nice. Okay, I'll take that. Here, a spectacular vista opens over the Pushlav, the Poschiavo Valley. In the distance, the waters of the Lake of Poschiavo are... It's nice how they have, um tourist announcements as well as just a we are stopping at and we are stopping at nani na uh sorry I relapsed into japanese there sorry happened um we are stopping at the next station and then give the name for it and i gl i'm glad that they also have the tourist um uh announcements as well that's a nice that, nice touch. Whoa, that, I like it how we're already an incredible height above sea level, and yet we're not even as high as the mountains surrounding us. Like, that is insane. Do get up to 40 for a short, short section. We've gotten around the first hairpin. Now we have to go around this hairpin, this hairpin, this one, this one and this one. So that's what, seven hairpins? Absolutely insane. Uh, I think I just managed to, ah! I just actually changed my keyboard. Big mistake. Come on. Control enter. Shift enter. Shift enter. Control enter. Okay. I think I actually turned one of my safety systems off. That was not good. More spectacular views. Look at that.
Whoa. Snow tunnel. And then into another tunnel. Oh, yay! I'm now running like 55 frames per second. I think it was because of all the trees down farther in the valley. Now we're beginning to get into like the treeless section of the line. Whoa! We are a long way up! Look at that, dude! Amazing! Can't take any really any photographs because A, there's trees in the way, B, there's a wall as well. Finally out of tunnels. Okay. So we have one, two, three more hairpins. We've already done three, so that's... We've only done half the hairpins in between... Um... Cavaglia and Alpgrun. Whoa. Oh, we've got a crossing loop. Is there is there a train waiting, or is he... There is... I, I saw a train at um, Alpgrun. Oh, we passed with Cavaglia. What am I thinking? Um... Mm. This is full power, but thankfully we don't have the speed set. And I also like how the whistle is right on top of the throttle lever. That's actually a really clever, really clever positioning. Whoa, look down. Oh, I don't want to look down. That is such a long way. Ah. Oh my goodness. Despite this route being, what, only 38 kilometers long, it takes ages to complete. Look, just look at this. Snow tunnel and then proper tunnel. To increase to 40. Do I want. Oh, yeah, I want to get light on. I think the Allegra is actually my favorite Swiss train now. Even though I know hardly anything about the railways in Switch. Oh my goodness, that is a long way down. Oh, oh, there's like this little mountain lake. Nice. Whoa, this path is like off the cliff. Amazing. Yeah, we're now going away from out oh, boom. We have two, two more hairpins. Oh my goodness. The views on this line are insane. Slow down in time for the limit. All right, so out oh, groom is about um one at one and a half kilometers away. Oh, oops, didn't mean to press that. Um, so we've got out groom and then no more hairpins and about five kilometers later, um, Otspizio Bernina, which, oh, um, which is um, the end of the line, but then the service will, AI, will turn into AI, go off the map and then head to St. Moritz. Goodness, the views, dude, they are insane. Look at that. No wonder this has been called time and again one of the most beautiful railways in the world. That's insane. Like, wow, wow. All right, we've got one more hairpin. 
and then we're into outgrow. <sighs> oh, just one! But we've done five already. Okay. Room. No, I can't do that. I don't. <laughs> Next stop, Ooh, tree stumps. I've never seen those before. Custom asset, maybe, May or maybe recycled for the rest of life. Don't know. All right, so we are. Oh. If you're wondering why the two tracks are so close together, that's per real life. It's so that, I think it's something about track curvature or something. Yeah, you can see the two tracks are right next to each other. Oh, um, oh look at these houses, dude. They're like, they're like positioned beautifully. If you're, and also if you're wondering, this railway continues running all year round even in winter they've got proper snow plows now if we could have a snow plow and proper snow simulation in tsw that'd be so cool like snow clearing operations would be amazing full service onto the brakes oh boom, ladies and gentlemen let's have a look around oh we are we are so early. We have three minutes. We could go, let's just go walk around, okay? Up the doors. Train won't roll away. So here, here we go. Where's where is a viewpoint? Come on, I want to see the I want to see the views. Okay, so this is a view. Oh my goodness, look how far down that is! Oh my goodness, I think we could. I think we could walk down this road here. That is views, dude. <whistles> Gorgeous. Also, like restaurant, obviously custom asset for you. Nope, I don't want you. Restaurant shut for renovations. Sorry. Oh, that would be a shame. Oh, we can't go in the lavatory either. Alp groom altitude. 2,091 meters or 6,860 feet. This has to be one of the higher railways on the planet. Check for trains. Cross. Let's get back in. Shut the door. Shut this door. Get back in. Any trains? Well, um, behind us. Okay, there's the one at Cavaglia. He's still heading down the hairpins to Pasciava. Oh my goodness. There's a train but Okay. There's a train behind us at whatever this station is. But he's like 20 kilometers behind us. What is this, dude? Like, what? Why is it up on this hill? It has nothing going to it. Look at the view, though. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, look. Just all fog. TSW doesn't render it. Look at all the... Look, we just wound up that hill. Amazing. I think there's an hourly schedule. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that switch. Oh my goodness. This has been one of the longest videos I've ever done, but I wanted to show off the whole route. Because I think Rivet did a pretty good job with it. 30 seconds to go, let's get the door shut. Alright. Just one more station to go. I'll speak to you. I'll speak to you. Aspizio Bernin. Aspizio Bernin. Three point eight kilometers away. So, with counting for track wiggling, about five kilometers. I was right. Oh, get to go up to forty. 
So not too much farther to go. We've gone past the worst bit. Oh gosh, that log cabin is really causing the anti-aliasing to wonk out. If you noticed it before it stopped. Flickering. Still climbing, 7% grade. I think Alp Broom is like 200 meters below Auspicia Bernina, so we're almost at our maximum altitude. To put this into perspective, this is above the altitude where humans would, where humans acclimatized to lower altitudes would start having breathing difficulties. That's how high up we are. We've got a very cute little tunnel coming up. And if you're wondering why the trees have suddenly thinned out, is that's because we're above the tree line. Yeah. Yeah, we're seriously, we're above the tree line. This is insane, dude. I like how the wood isn't just like one flat sheet that has like gaps in between it. That's very nice. Almost, we're about to go up to 45. Six minutes to Os Ospizio Bernina and into another tunnel. Yay, I'm finally getting proper frames per second. Look at that. Oh, look at that little snow tunnel up there. Nice. Snow tunnel? Whoa, why is it foggy in here? Uh, uh, whoa. There is Ospizio, there's the lake, the lake at the top of the pass. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We're, we're on flat ground. That is insane, dude. Look at the lake. You can tell it's not the TSW4 texture, but I wouldn't expect that from them given it's given otherwise my computer would probably explode. Alright, we do have a 40 limit inbound, so I'll just slow down. There we go. Alright, so we have a 30 limit just before we pull into Ospizio Bernina. We're actually heading down now. That's insane. We've been heading up so much. Wow. No other trains is Ospizio, just us. Oh, wait, we could go back up to 45. Nice. Speed set is really nice, very adaptive. There's just a couple of buildings here, like three buildings tops at Ospizio Bernina. All right, whistle. Nice little bridge coming up. 
Only 700 meters till our destination. Nice little bridge coming up. Shut up. Nice little bridge. Shut up! Oh, I hate this. Sadly, we're not even... We're not even... We're not higher than the clouds, so... Shame. Like, I wish we could be. That'd be so cool. Like, if we can't be above the clouds, even on one of the highest railways in the world. Alright. Slowing down. 30 limit coming up. Got a shed here. Still heading up. Alright. Ospizio Benina, ladies and gentlemen. In. Okay, here we are, the top of the Benina Pass, and the end of today's run. If they, had, if Rivet had done the route all the way down to St. Moritz, it would take four hours to run this entire route. Four hours. I think the longest timetable service in TSW I've ever come across is two hours and fifty minutes for a, a Class 66 service on the East Coast Main Line. All right. All right. Wait a minute. I want to see if I can get a good photo. Nah, that doesn't really work. Oh well. What are you looking at me for? No, you're looking away now. Ha! <laughs> um. All right. Oh, that was. Speed set makes everything a lot easier, but that was quite the run we just did. Hmm. Luck doors? Come on, please, please, please patent a medal, please patent a medal. Yes! First time on the Bernina line. All right. Campo Colonio, uh, so, Tirano, Campo Colonio, Brusio, Miralago, Postiavo, Cavaglia, Alp, Grum, and Ospizio, Bernina. Distance driven 38 kilometers, time taken an hour, in one hour, 26 and a half minutes. Okay. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for 100 subscribers, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.